Okay, so uh, hello everyone. So welcome to this uh, discussion. Uh, I just saw recently in the Facebook and also in the Dutch newspaper that many of the uh, international students in Netherlands were facing issues because of some of them have, were having like uh, the orientation year visa, that is the Zukia visa, which is like valid for one year after your study. Some people had it uh, expiring very soon. So like from February, everyone is suffering because from February onwards, it's very difficult to uh, even move out and apply for jobs, look for jobs uh, and do uh, all other things. So that's why we have, uh, we, I joined a Facebook group I, after I saw the news and I saw that these people who are in the meeting now with me, uh, they have done really good work by starting an online petition for uh, giving voice to that. Uh, and, I, and I also don't know if you all are also in the similar situation of the orientation year problem. So what they are doing is they are trying to create uh, an, uh, like a, to create awareness so that the government maybe can see this issue and they can amend the rules as it has been done in different European nations and other countries. Like people who are having issues because of these six months or maybe it will even continue till the end of the year. How can they uh, somehow increase or give some kind of benefit so that they can stay for more term and search for jobs if their visa is expiring soon. So maybe I will transfer it to all of them because I'm just uh, the medium and they are going to discuss the, the reason uh, why we are here. And if I find something or we need any information, I can just intervene and uh, maybe add or ask some questions. So maybe you all can start and introduce yourselves and start. So let's start with Amy. Okay, sure. So first of all, thank you for uh, this great opportunity, which is not going to only benefit uh, us as the first leaders and uh, admins of this group, but also a lot of other international students are, are done with their studies in the Netherlands. And uh, second, I would like to, uh, in my own Turn uh, elaborate on the issue that uh, we are uh, encountering, and uh, it's I think most of it is you know shared with other students or graduates. But uh, for me, as an Iranian student, it was even uh, harder because I had to also go through other dilemmas. Um, and uh, third, I hope that this story can uh, help the authorities to understand the motivation, the courage, the stamina that we have in order to establish ourselves as successful immigrants. Said I'm an Iranian student, so meaning that there are lots of international sanctions being imposed on me for transferring uh, the capital, for uh, converting euro, for uh, any type of protection with regard to banking transactions. And uh, not only that, but also I uh, have to confess that we are not supported by any institution, government, organization, nowhere. Because most of the scholarships all around the world are excluded for international students who are coming from Iran. Moreover, many of the insurances are not even eligible for international students like me who are coming from Iran. Like, more specifically, SIGNA is completely banned for international students. Uh, moreover, for obtaining our visa, we are obliged to So we can completely uh, sympathize how difficult it might be to rent a house from a country that even doesn't have credit card. And um, 
to go through all those arrangements to obtain our visa. So having gone through all those steps, having obtained my visa, having uh, understood that I'm going to be all by myself without any support, I accepted to be in this situation and uh, to establish myself as a student and later on friends in order that women provide their expertise uh, especially in a domain that is you know having more to do with uh, justice and fairness and with this great hope and goal I came here in order to create my future when I was um, done with my studies at Leiden universities uh, in the major public international law as my second master. I was called that I can uh, be employed in a position that is suitable for me because previously I have a, had you know, four years of experience. I speak four languages. I have four degrees and uh, I think most importantly, I am so much willing to dedicate everything I have obtained to the Dutch society because this was the goal with which I entered here. Uh, I think I started uh, applying for jobs since October 2019 and so far I assume it would be around like 1200 jobs that I have applied to and unfortunately most of the jobs that I applied to and the interviews that I had uh, were either rejected or they were put on hold specifically after the start of pandemic because uh, we were told that it's uncertainty, uh, there is no guarantee, we do not know when to start, so everything is being put on hold. And um, of course, the entering the Dutch market was already so difficult, I would say specifically for a person who was in law, and uh, now it's even worse, because uh, the market is being slowed down, and uh, we are facing another challenge. And uh, when I review my own objectives with which I entered this country, I'm still resolute for achieving whatever I aimed for. Therefore, I, I can assure that if I am provided with a little bit of more time that is being provided by IMD to me, and I can have this chance to pinpoint my problems, any gap in my CV, and receive some feedback from Dutch employers. I can have this chance to get one step closer to my goals. I'm not asking something extraordinary. I'm just asking a little bit of more time on behalf of me and on behalf of many other students and graduates to have this opportunity to explore, to receive updates, to get aligned with whatever changes that is happening in the society. And uh, we have an aim. We would like to contribute. We are the ones that have brought a lot of expertise, skills, knowledge to this country. We are really considered as intellectuals. We want to establish ourselves here. We want to contribute. So if there is, there are people in the future who can contribute and who can reconstruct the economy of the Netherlands, many of them are the immigrants, are the skillful immigrants. So I really would like to see that our objective is being fulfilled and we can be provided an extension of our visa to achieve our goals. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I will also leave in the description below the link for the petition that you have already got like more than 1,000 signatures, if I'm not wrong, or how much is it the current number? 
every day it's increasing so okay. it's hard to mention a specific number at every a single moment because every day the number of advocates of these petitions uh, are increasing so uh, but as you can see in our group and in our petition it's not only me there are a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. other yeah, individuals who are in the same situation okay so yeah i will leave it in the description below the facebook group and the petition and they have already been covered by the dutch newspaper so i'm just doing my two cent uh, uh, like help so that i can do something and let's move to varsha then next thank you um hi hello everyone this is varsha uh i'm originally uh, from new delhi india I came back in 2017, uh, February, to the Netherlands in order to pursue my second degree in International Business Administration. Uh, I finished my degree in the month of July 2019 and I, I attained my ZooCare uh, visa, which is um, a search here pro provided by the Dutch government when you finish your studies. So after I attained this uh, visa, it took me almost three months. I sent uh, almost more than 400 uh, job applications via LinkedIn, Monster, and all, uh, Glassdoor, and all of these platforms. But uh, eventually, I got a job uh, working in a retail sector. I was working there as a marketing for B2B clients. Uh, it was a watch and jewelry company. Uh, they had a lot of B2B clients in UK, uh, USA, Australia, New Zealand, so I was handling their English market. Uh, but because of the corona, uh, by the end of uh, uh, January, they just said that, you know, the conditions are getting worse and worse uh, because, because most of their uh, products is coming from China, so they are not able to get their raw material in order to make their product. Uh, a lot of their B2B stores were just shutting down because of Corona, so they were barely making 20% of their um, entire profit. Hence, they they decided to terminate contracts for the employees who are not like in this organization for more than one year. And this is how I lost my job in the Netherlands market. And after that, I like I spent almost 45 days uh, every day applying for at least 50 applications. I'm not getting at like my entire in boxes full of applications, but uh, there was no luck at all. Because of Corona, I have several emails in my inbox stating that they have freeze their, uh, they like they have completely freeze their applications or they're not accepting applications because of Corona, because there's no certainty when it will be over and when they will be uh, available in the market. So I think that that is the reason uh, why we created this uh, a small group like we started with a small number we started with the 100 and now we are already 585 members and then like the numbers are increasing every day a uh, few of the dutch news have already covered us uh, nos covered um, our news uh, dutch review uh, dutch uh, nl.com and now there's another one this morning which covered our news which is nl times uh, we also got a reply from a member of parliament who's uh, from the party called Democratic 66. And they said that they will certainly raise this issue in the parliament and we just hope for the best. And I think uh, the Dutch government should really consider it extending for another year because uh, it, it is always um, a case of barter. So it's, it's, not, it's not beneficial for us only. We are really beneficial sources for the Dutch economy because uh, they need, uh, you know, we like, if you're coming to the Netherlands for higher, stu higher studies, I think we are also doing brain drain. So we are just really uh, resourceful resources for Dutch economy. And if the chances will be given, we can prove that. And yeah, that's my short uh, appeal to the government to think about it, to think about uh, all the expats, because in the future, there will be more international student coming in the Netherlands to pursue their education and to consider this a uh, valid point, they should uh, make it as an exception because the entire world is, uh, you know, suffering from this pandemic. And I hope that uh, the Dutch, Dutch government will do something about it. And we, we, like, it's our sincere request to them to consider it. 
and if they are listening to this video or watching this video uh, it's a uh, like really a uh, deeply concerned topic that they should you know put some lamplight or focus about it that's all thank you okay so we can go to the last participant yuvendra okay uh, so hi um, i'm yuvend uh, i'm from uh, malaysia so i started uh, before this uh, before the interview so i would like to thank uh, uh, sambit for giving me uh, an us uh, an opportunity to uh, to discuss this matter and so um i started my phd uh, end of december in 2013 and i graduated uh, uh, my phd uh, from my phd last november on the 21st actually so basically um, so i was uh, working on uh, biology biology related uh, studies and uh, then i applied for uh, a zukia visa like any other in this group then uh, i received a zukia visa which is for one year and uh, i was keep on applying for jobs like uh, my previous uh, colleague who mentioned but uh, to no avail there is no uh, you know response uh, uh, for even for an interview so all the uh, responses that i get is that either you know i am too over qualified or i need more uh, industrial experience so those are the two uh, responses that i normally get and uh, the 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 pandemic has just made the situation even worse like it just added more flavors to the you know already uh, uh, problematic situation so uh, like what varsha said uh, i think we at least require uh, you know uh, one year or extension actually because all the time has been wasted you know uh, you know the the the, the, the time Uh, which was available to uh, us for to apply for jobs is completely wasted because of the lockdown. And normally, even though it's for one year, the the uh, Zukia uh, visa, uh, normally it will take around six to eight months for one person to get hired. And uh, for an extension of the visa, or like it, because the, after the Zukia visa, there are many other options. Either you become a Chinese migrant. that means a skilled migrant or um, you start up your own company or you have a, you know self employed but to apply for those kind of things you need you know 3 month buffering period but with this uh, uh, you know lockdown we are completely um, you know out of no uh, options to move further actually so that's why my plea to the uh, government netherland is that you know just take uh, our uh, Uh, request into consideration and then uh, this is going to be a win win situation actually because uh, you know with foreign investment if you give us uh, you know more time then there'll be you know um, more foreign investment for you and also after this uh, pandemic the you know every country in the world going to suffer economically so we have to fight this together you know international local everybody should you know come together and fight and to 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 you know to boost the economy so we are willing to you know offer our you know services or offer our expertise because this group has you know different uh, people from different background different countries you know from science from social science from uh, uh, natural sciences from engineering so we are willing to um, offer our you know whatever knowledge that we gain here from the netherlands we want to give back so that's why we are asking the uh, government of the netherlands to you know extend the uh, ukr visa but also we also want to thank you the you know uh, the government of the netherlands for giving us this, you know zukr scheme actually because as far as i am co- concerned many countries don't have this kind of option so first of all we want to thank you for this scheme but also request your help to extend this uh, ukr visa so that's all my uh, plea actually in this matter thank you okay thank you very much for all of your uh, insights and uh, the reason why the the government should look into it and uh, maybe make it actionable as soon as possible so that people like this 
because if you see there are already more than thousand people in the petition then you can imagine like there will be many in thousands there will be many internationals who are in the similar situation they may not know like how to approach or maybe they are in a big mental or physical i mean many type of uh, different impact it can have different impact on different type of people so uh, yeah so i i would not say more but i would say like maybe who is watching the video if you can share this video and maybe tag the relevant authorities or the people or maybe help us in some other way so that these people can benefit and uh, maybe they will see the light at the end of the tunnel so i hope that uh, this video reaches to the necessary people and again i'm saying while ending the video is that please please share this video with as much people as you can so that many others can also raise their voice and it will also gain visibility so that uh, maybe it will help in some way or another so thank you for joining in all of you and uh, yeah thank you and at the end, I would like to also thank you, Sami, for this opportunity and uh, we started by this code. Together we will overcome this and I hope that our goal will be fulfilled and uh, there will be a moment for us to show the, uh, everything we have learned in the universities and be beneficial for this society. Thank you and I uh, that soon we will receive great news. Yes, thank you, Samba, for uh, for this video. And whosoever is watching it, please share it as as much as you can. And please tag your local bodies or the student union, or if you know any uh, like student union to like student councils, or to your professor or to your teachers, just share it as much as you can. And let's hope for the best. And I really hope that uh, our voice will reach to the concerned person and the need who will be done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you also uh, from my part. So I wish uh, success for us. So hope for the best and we'll see how things go on. Thank you.